Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, Invent of India. Now, uh, naturally, I can't remember what I was doing last time around, but uh, we've got a dust storm coming. And uh, what have we got here? We've got a... We've got production of polymers. Um, we have unemployed people. Uh, what was I, uh, um, right, I wanted to get the mohole up, I believe, um, right, I was short on concrete, that was, uh, that was the issue, uh, last time around, uh, got these, uh, concrete extractors up and running. Uh, okay, and uh, what's uh, what's with this rocket? It's uh, collecting exports. Um, right, we've got a sol and a half roughly for uh, uh, dust storm, so I uh, probably want to launch that. Now, what have we got coming here? Drones, concrete, and polymers. Right. Now, um, what, uh, what can I uh, build here? That is the question. So we have the space elevator, uh, which is 320 concrete. Uh, I'm not far off being able to build that. This needs 240 uh, machine parts. So how is machine parts doing? Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, producing a fair chunk of those. I kind of want to get the mohole up just for the uh, the metals, but uh, but we've got metal extraction going here uh, at a pretty uh, decent rate, so uh, that's not a big deal at the moment. Uh, as we've got another metal deposit here, we can just move the uh, extractor there. So yeah, we should be okay. Um, and we're um, we're producing a surplus of five rare metals at the moment. Now is that how's the? Okay, we've got a fair bit left, so so that's okay. Um, right. So we've got uh, 118 living spaces and uh, somebody looking for work. Uh, but no jobs available. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, so this one, that one is. Let's um, let's take a boo over here. Is there anything we can uh, do over here? Uh, well, first off, let's see if we can uh, trade for Tex. Uh, Martian aerodynamics for. Yeah, we'll we'll do the trade. Uh, okay. So we got microgravity medicine. Uh, that's the, uh, spire, the medical center spire. Uh, you know, that's, um, not hugely, uh, useful at the moment. Um, what I guess I need to do is get a big stack of machine parts built up. Um, and also uh, get polymer production uh, way up. Uh, concrete needs to uh, get uh, well underway. So we're producing, yeah, we're producing a whole bunch. Let's uh, up the tempo here. Right, okay, so the tempo is uh, sped up. We've got a bunch of earth sick. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so we're producing a surplus of about 10 machine parts. So we're going to, it's going to be a while. Um, will we be able to land our rocket before the uh, dust storm? Uh, yeah, we should be able to. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, so we're just waiting for the rocket to arrive. Uh, I'll land it and I'll try and remember to just before the dust storm uh, 
to uh, launch the one with the uh, rare metals on it. Uh, we'll, you know, I'll launch it before and then we'll have a few uh, rare metals here uh, that will get us some, uh, some income. What are we researching? Oops, no, that's the wrong, wrong one. Uh, we're researching resilient architecture. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, waste rock liquefaction is good. Um, we can, you know, do something with our waste rock. Um, and biome engineering. Yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be good. Um, the large scale excavator could be useful eventually, but not, not right now. Okay. Uh, okay, we're up to 24 on board here. And we got a bunch of, uh, drones in with the, uh, rocket and uh, some resources. Uh, now I think if I want to get the molehole up, uh, I'm gonna need to uh, I'm gonna need to import some uh, some resources here. Uh, what I want to I, you know I gotta remember this 240 yeah we need 320 concrete. Space elevator needs 320 concrete, but less of everything, less of the other um, advanced uh, resources. So, uh, 120 polymers won't be an issue. 120, yeah, the space elevator I think would be the better choice for the first wonder. Um, so, oh, we have a power shortage at night. Um, yeah, so we need uh, we need more power generation is what we need. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, we're up to twenty five there. Uh, so we got two nineteen. Yeah, we definitely need more more power generation. Um, Now, do we have the, uh, did that, uh, no, that didn't change anything there. Uh, well, we'll get a production boost on these uh, when the dust storm arrives. Uh, let's launch that now. Uh, right, okay. Uh, so we got a rocket heading to Earth, and the dust storm will be starting, and then we'll see what this power drops down to. Uh, if it drops too much, I'll build some uh, windmills. Uh, two sols. Uh, domes without life support. Uh, why? Not enough O2. Oh dear. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. This looks like it's going to be the end of the game. So this is what happens when you don't pay attention. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's no way we'll last the whole, uh, the whole two uh, how much is left on the yeah we're not gonna last two sols um, yeah so what I'll do uh, assuming we don't last the two sols Um, well, uh, while things are not doing well, I should build a couple of these.
in the worst case, that will, uh... Okay. Well, we'll go back to uh, Earth here. We'll grab a passenger rocket now. Uh, so that we don't lose, uh... Colonist uh, applicants when, uh... When we start having, uh... Uh, our uh, colonists dying, uh, which they're going to. Uh, right. Uh, what happens if I turn these off? Uh, and maybe turn that off. Um, at least we can avoid running out of power. Um, yet yeah, our colonists are dying. Question is whether enough of them survive to allow uh, the colony to continue. Because if, if enough survive, uh, then I can potentially rescue the game. If not, then we're done. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to run this out and we'll see what happens here. Uh, this is basically what happened to Stealth when he was uh, doing a uh, Surviving Mars game. Uh, he ended up uh, in a situation just like this, except it was due to uh, other resources and then everything just started failing. This was me not paying attention. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what it was. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to see a great many, uh, yeah, there's uh, no possible way we're going to uh, salvage this. Uh, you know, if, if, but if we can come through with, you know, half a dozen colonists still alive, we might just maybe uh, be able to land the rocket just in time uh, after the uh, storm to uh, uh, recover the uh, colony. Um, but I think we're going to lose all 145 remaining colonists before the dust storm ends. Um, if not, we'll see what we can do, because it'll be a, a real challenge to uh, recover it. Um, right. Two... One, uh, come on. Okay, we can land our rocket. Now, obviously, I'm going to need to uh, go in here and build couple of moxies. Okay, now uh, we need uh, cables uh, to go like this. Uh, this might be recoverable. Uh, dumping. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. 
Uh, right. So what I'm going to do... Uh, do I have... Uh, I don't have enough officers, so I will uh, launch these rockets back for Earth so we can pick up colonists. Uh, as soon as we... Uh, we have any we can pick up. Now, we've got a challenge here. Uh, I've, we need to get our uh, oxygen uh, storage uh, uh, bolstered. So, uh, large oxygen tank. I'll put a couple of these in. Put one of them, I don't know, we'll stick one over here. And uh, stick one over here. Yeah. Uh, then that should allow us to get uh, a big uh, a big stack of stuff operational. But now uh, we don't have enough uh, polymers. Yeah. Um, so we have a polymer here. Uh, well, we'll close those shifts because there's uh, none available. Um, this is... Uh, where is the... That's the... Uh, no. Electronics factory. We'll close that. Um, right. Uh, machine parts we can close. Uh, okay, we've got our metal extractors closed. Um, right. And this rocket... You know, we'll abort that. Um, right, it's food that's on there. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we have children coming in. So, uh, we've got uh, oxygen supplies building up. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Well, uh, what I can do is uh, go over here, and I can actually... Wait, these things run without crew? Well, in that case, we'll... We'll just, uh... Close the uh, work slots. Uh, yeah, um, I forgot we had that. Uh, that means that uh, these might be able to as well. Um, so if I start this, it needs repair. But. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got rockets on Earth. Uh, passenger rocket. We've only got four. But you know what? We need as many of the... Uh, as many colonists as we can get. Um, right. So this is being repaired. Now, does it start? It does. Okay. Well, uh, that's uh, that's okay. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, polymers being produced. Uh, do we have just the one polymer factory? Uh. 
No. What I definitely need to do, though, is grab some polymers. So it's going to be a cargo rocket with a stack of polymers. Wait, no. Back. Close. What I can do here is we can request polymers and see if uh, somebody will trade them. Yeah, that's the thing to do. Because we need to get our polymer stock. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing to do. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and we have... Uh, we have emptied the rocket here, so we'll send that rocket back. Is once we can get enough polymers to get these moxies up, then we'll uh, end up uh, accumulating enough oxygen to survive the next uh, dust storm. But I really didn't think it was possible for the colony to even have a shot at uh, surviving that. Uh, that we got lucky uh, by a margin. Uh, sure, we lost uh, two thirds or more of our colonists, which is bad. But uh, yeah, we uh, we definitely this should have been game over. Uh, but this is why I wrote it out because uh, you know it gives us a a uh, shot right at uh, possibly uh, at surviving right and uh, and that's uh, that's important now. What I want to check on in here. Do we have anything that increases um, uh, Yeah, we don't really have anything that's going to increase uh, colonists uh, applicants. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see if we can actually uh, get anywhere with this. It's uh, rather a uh, difficult scenario. Uh, now, do we have... Yeah, we picked up two. Uh, we'll wait a bit before we uh, go ahead and... Uh, oh, what does that need? Polymers. Right. Now, are we... Okay, we're just about to unload polymers. Now, we'll be able to fix everything. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We've got polymers. Uh, so the dome will be able to be fixed. Uh, right, so polymers is the thing we're really hurting for. So I'm going to change this. We'll import polymers and export metals. Okay, now let's uh, let's see where we get with, uh, with that. Uh, 15 for our food. And uh, this one, uh, wait a minute, there was two offers came in, wasn't there? Um, so contact, uh, no, close, contact, no. No, 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 no. There was another... There was another trade offer there. Uh, is there a... Uh, a way to get the... Uh, no. Okay, we got a rocket on Earth. Um, now let's look passengers while well, we can grab three. Okay, launch. 
Uh, right. Okay. This we need to up the priority on. And this. Yep. Okay, now... Uh, uh, right. Okay, so we've got a f you know, halfway full oxygen storage now. Uh, that's good. Um, right. Okay, the dome is repaired. Good. Now... Uh... Right. Well, we're almost uh, even on our... Uh, our uh, polymer production now, so, so that's good. Uh, right. So this is just going to be a long uh, process. Now, where's the university? Uh, where is it? Here. We're going to train officers. Once we have six officers, we can recruit stacks of uh, colonists from other colonies, uh, which uh, is definitely worth doing. But we'll um, we'll send the rocket back. We're going to get our rockets. Okay, we'll accept that trade offer. Uh, right. Uh, so these uh, moxies are almost finished. What do they need for maintenance? Metal. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we're actually not doing as bad as I thought we were. Uh, we don't have a lot of children, uh, being born. Uh, but, uh, we will, um, ultimately end up with, uh, with that happening again. Once we can, uh, get our, um, population back. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that trade as well. Uh, okay, and we've got a rocket that's back. Okay. There we go. Uh, we've got three more colonists. Uh... So that uh, definitely will help. Now, what I want to do is check on... What's this? Drone assembler. Ruins. Remove it. What's this? Ruins of an oxygen... Ah! Well, we'll rebuild that. And we'll rebuild that. Buildings destroyed. What? Here. Water tower. Rebuild it. Rebuild it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Um, right. Depleted, uh, deposits. Okay. We'll, uh, remove that. This, we can close the work slots and turn it on. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we've got a rocket on Earth. Let's just take a look. Passengers. We can grab three. Launch. Uh, yeah, uh, doing 
that three at a time is uh, slow, but we'll eventually get our uh, population back. Uh, we have four officers now. We need six to do a uh, mission to another colony. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, send that rocket back to Earth. We're up to 60 polymers. We're down to 96 machine parts. Uh, let's uh, do the full upgrade on all of the uh, Moxies. Because uh, I don't want to get into that situation again. Um, yeah. Uh, wait. Uh, we have here a research lab. What if we turn off the research lab? Uh, yeah, we got a, a full shift in the polymers. Uh, does that... Uh, that doesn't quite get us enough. Um, but we're importing those. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, here, if we uh, turn this building back on, uh, we'll see if we end up with uh, enough workers to do anything there. What's this? Oh, that's uh, that's off, right? Yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Now what? Okay, so our polymer situation is okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're down to minimal uh, research, but that's fine. Uh, we've got uh, we've got our issue here with um, with a lack of colonists, but we'll eventually uh, 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 get uh, get an improved situation going here. Uh, right. Um, how are we doing here? Five officers. Okay, so the next rocket that uh, arrives will keep around. Okay, launch or, or land. Uh, right. Yeah, well, we'll need to go recruiting with um, uh, other colonies here. Uh, okay, so we had an Earth sick colonist leave. Well, they don't work anyway, so it's. Oh, yep. We've got. Um, seven officers. Well, first of all, we'll accept that and then we'll uh, we'll go over here. Uh, Japan has 104. We have excellent standing. Uh, yeah, we'll go over to Japan and we'll do covert ops, recruit, and we'll get many non-specialists send. Okay. Uh, right, uh, so when it's refueled, that should take off because we have the officers. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's an important, uh, thing here. We just, we just need to get our population up, you see. And we got children being born again, so that's good. Uh, so the colony looks like it'll, uh, it'll possibly survive all of this. Uh, that is better than we could have hoped for. Yeah, definitely better than we could have hoped for. Uh, this really should have been game over. Uh, right, so there we go. We've got our officers. It's taking off. Uh, let's um, let's change this back to machine parts, and then we'll take that last offer. And there, then, uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue trading a bit for metals, but uh, yeah, we've it's probably better if we we don't. Uh, do a lot of a lot more metal trading. I don't think we'll have to 
once we get enough to staff our buildings again. Because we had a population of nearly, of, of around 300, as I recall. So, you know, that's quite a substantial uh, population. Uh, we got 16 colonists. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's a game mechanic that, uh, if you're not, a, if you weren't aware of it, uh, the colonist uh, recruiting is definitely worth doing. Oh, right. I should go back over here in the university and change that to auto. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. Because we need lots of polymers for something. I can't remember what it was. Um, uh... 120 polymers for the space elevator. Uh, oh, right. I need to go and turn these back on. And we've got a dust storm coming. Uh, okay, you land. And we'll uh, send another uh, recruiting expedition. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, and we will, uh, yeah, so we'll go back over here, and it was Japan we, we recruited from. Uh, we'll recruit from, uh, Paradox. No, closed. Covert. Recruit colonists. Get many non-specialists. Send that rocket. Okay, and hopefully that will fuel up before the uh, storm arrives. Uh, let's uh, check in on Earth here. We've got seven available here. Yeah, we'll launch that. And we also have some cash. So what if we grab a bunch of these? We can get 105 of them. Launch. Now, does that get us to what we need except for concrete for the space elevator? That would be good. Um, that's going to get off before the storm. So that's definitely good. And then uh, these probably won't arrive by then. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, our retruding rocket is on its way. Uh, you know, we're up to 114 colonists now. Uh, only 26 vacant work slots at the moment. So, you know, there's that. Uh, we're not hemorrhaging uh, resources anymore, so there's that. Uh, right. Now here, um, I'm going to turn this back into a uh, landing pad. So, because uh, I'm going to stop uh, cannibalizing our metal supplies. Yeah, sure, we're uh, producing 10 here now with no uh, workers, but uh, yeah. Well, we got 24 colonists that time. That's uh, really good. Uh, will it get back to us before the dust storm? Uh, maybe? It's half yeah, I think it will. Okay, that'll be good, because uh, then we'll have almost enough colonists to fill the uh, vacant work slots. Now we've got, yeah, we've got plenty of supplies. So, okay, you land. Okay. And I guess I'll go recruiting for it at the other colony as well. Seems like a good idea. 
Okay, so we'll go over here. And these are the guys we haven't recruited from. Covert Ops. Oh. Close. Okay, now... We'll go... Covert Ops. No landed rocket. What does it mean, no landed rocket? Okay. There we go. Recruit colonists, get many non-specialists, send that one. Okay. That will not launch before the, uh, the dust storm. But, uh, we are now to the point where our, uh, all of our support buildings are, uh, um, are operational. And, uh, that is going to be, uh, you know, critical. Uh, okay, auto save. And we got a few more colonists from Earth. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is not going to launch before the storm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're... Okay, we're, uh, we're probably okay this time, uh, but what I need to do, I think, is uh, uh, put up a couple more of these. Okay, now, missing rover. <laughs> yeah, we'll send shuttles out. Okay, now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to halt things here. Uh, I'm going to call an end to the part here. Uh, the colony looks like it will survive, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't have, so we got crazy lucky and I will, uh, I will take that, because I thought I was going to be uh, either reloading to see if we could save it, or, uh, you know, starting a new, uh, a new, um, a new game, right? But no, um, we're still going, so uh, if you want to see if we uh, manage to make it to even getting somewhere with terraforming, uh, tune in next time, uh, you know. Same bat time, same bat channel, I guess. Uh, and, uh, yeah, stay healthy and uh, see you next time.